Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazendary here. And today in this video, we have the top 15 best streetwear related items that I purchased in the month of January. I guess this is a mail time. I said we weren't gonna do one, but I am gonna say that I got a lot of stuff and I just figured, you know what, mini mail time, whatever the hell it is, let's just get into it. Hit the like button if you're excited. And with that being said, I'm gonna start the time lapse. You guys know the drill about mail time. What we do in this series is we kind of go over each package individually and I talk about the item, maybe some historical facts, maybe there's something interesting about why I got it. Like I said before this video started, if you could please take one second out of your day, hit that like button, it really goes a long way and supports me as a creator. If you guys were unaware, in my last video, I mentioned that I'm gonna be changing my upload schedule due to a popular demand to Wednesday and Saturdays with of course bonus uploads depending on what I'm doing that week. I'm excited to get into this stuff just because you know I, I hoard all this stuff for like a month and then at the end of it I finally can open it all and get to enjoy it for myself. So to start, ah, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick up one randomly. Here we go. Alright, first, 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 this one. Okay, tiny one. Very tiny one actually. Uh, let's begin. I already know what this is. So this first item is actually for something that, well, I already own. On my stories, I oftentimes post a lot of things, and one of them was I traded my friend Noah a pair of Dior high top sneakers for this Cartier ring right here. And also with it, of course, he sent me all the paperwork once he got back to his house. This is the Cartier Certificate of Authenticity. And a lot of you guys were actually pretty pissed that I traded the shoes because, you know, you're like, oh, the shoes are so fire. But this is an investment. This is white gold. This is a Cartier ring. It's beautiful. Noah was very satisfied because he got to take home the shoes immediately and I got to take the ring. So we were both very happy with the trade. But that didn't mean I was just going to lose my pair of Dior shoes. I went online and I found a great deal for a pair in my size because the ones I traded him were actually his size. They were about a half size too big for me. So it really worked out. And I got back, of course, the Dior shoes once again. I absolutely love this sneaker. I think the whole Mecha Godzilla vibe that it's got going on with the flowers is still gonna be a really unique and relevant print. Godzilla. It's very aesthetically pleasing with all the different cutouts of the way the sneaker is inlaid. The white flat bar laces. And of course, we got some little Dior insects on the bottom, which is very reminiscent of what Gucci does. I'm very happy to add these back into the collection once again. Another one you guys might have already seen already are my new Off-White Air Jordan 5s. I made two videos about these, one of which where I opened them, unboxed them, reviewed the entire sneaker, and the second one where I took them to Foot Locker, and I actually got a prank out of the employees, which was a lot of fun, honestly. But the Off-White 5s are set to release All-Star Weekend, which is about two weeks from now. I'm very satisfied with this pickup right here. And these circle cutouts, how we, uh, we kind of discussed, they look like boat windows. I think it's just really unique. They come with black, white, and red laces. Super blessed to get these. 2020 Off-White. Whew! Low-key, your boy's kind of sweating. Gotta take off the drip. Whew! Man, it's actually, like, so hot in here. All these light boxes and everything. Sheesh! Okay, next up, uh, I don't even know where to begin. I didn't actually get to show this off back when Supreme was doing their releases just because I kind of fell off on Supreme. Low key, they haven't been dropping a lot of stuff that has been my taste. And I was honestly pretty bummed that I didn't get the Paper Nupsy, which is the, the newest Supreme North Face collaboration that dropped. This is the scarf, so I am gonna keep this for myself and it's got the paper look on it. It does have a little zip pocket, which for a scarf, I think that's a really nice and unique feature. Just a scarf, I mean, what else can I say? I don't really know how to like wear a scarf properly. Normally my girlfriend does it for me. Scarf gang. And of course too, you already know, it comes with these Supreme stickers in them and I've been keeping them low-key dead stock as of recently. I have this little binder that I made myself and I kind of just throw all the stickers that have you know similar stickers within the packs and whatnot within the binder. So some of the stickers of course are very new and a lot of them are actually just on my Supreme table, which you guys might remember from my old videos where I used to sit down at. We're definitely bringing that back when I get a bigger place to move into. 
But for right now, let's go ahead, just pop these within the seal. I guess staying on the topic of Supreme for a second, I wanna review with you guys some of my newest stickers as well. And one of the things I recently came across online was a listing a magazine of Supreme stickers that were released to the public only available in a magazine. And I'm actually really stoked with the fact that I got the whole page, no stickers missing, and I was also able to complete another set of Supreme stickers, not from a magazine, but you guys might recognize these, the CDG stickers, the red, black, and navy set of the Supreme stickers, and we even have the little, little ones as well, all brand new. You guys would be surprised how expensive these stickers can be if you hold on to them. For example, this whole set right here, I'm talking maybe 200 bucks floating around in that ballpark. Somebody could easily sell each one of these for 50 bucks on its own, but altogether I'd honestly give it a value of 200. And the other thing that I got within all this set as well is an old Supreme keychain. We have the number one F the rest Supreme keychain featuring the logo on the front. And when you flip it over, you can see it creates a number one with Supreme on it. This keychain I paid $40 for, which is very expensive for a keychain, but it came out years ago. So I'm honestly fine with paying that price. So I think that's gonna do it for the rest of the Supreme in this video. Yeah, that was a mistake. There's more. Good little haul. All right, guys, moving along. Let's go over a sneaker. So you guys might have seen in this video right here when I bought out a bunch of stuff from a liquidation sale. If you don't know what that means, it's when a company sells a lot of the stuff that is like very old at a very steep discount, even though the stuff might actually not even need to be discounted. For example, this is one of those items. I picked up a bunch of pairs of these, I'd say five or six pairs, but I am gonna keep this one for myself. This is the all white Bapesta Mach Air Force. So obviously this isn't a real Air Force, but it is exactly modeled just like the Air Force One high top with the Velcro strap on the top, featuring the little Bape lace aglet right at the bottom. And instead of there being a Nike swoosh, well, we got the Bapesta star. And even where the Nike logo would be, it still says Bapesta. I think it looks like a mid. You think it looks like a mid? Yeah. You might be right, this might be a mid. And I'm not sure what year these released as I think they just kind of keep making them as far as I'm concerned. And for a comfort factor, I'd give them a little less comfortable than the Air Force just because there's no air in them. So luckily I, uh, I came across some uh, pairs online of a sneaker that came out years ago. This sneaker is based off of a movie that came out even longer than when the shoes were released. I'm talking maybe 20 years. You guys remember the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off? They bought it. It's one of my personal favorites, if not within my top three favorite movies of all time. And luckily, I was able to score not one, but two pairs of the Ferris Bueller SB Dunks. This is a sneaker that came out back in 2008 and one of my favorite features is it has that leopard print right on the inside of the sneaker, which is a very nice and unique detail. We also see that on the tongue right up here. And Nike SBs, I mean, I've been saying it, they're coming back, and they're coming back in full swing with, you know, Travis Scott releasing his Nike Dunk. It's got me a little bit in the Dunk fever right now, so my pair actually has the cheetah laces in them and Val, unfortunately for you, we got the black laces only. Hope you don't mind. I'll give you the I'll give you the leopard ones if you want. I do like the black laces. Those ones are for me? Yes, these are for you. This is your size and this is my pair. I would even have to say your pair is much, yeah. much cleaner than my pair. Check out yours. Yeah. yeah. These are so awesome. I love the leopard. Honestly, wouldn't normally pick like this neutral of a shoe, but I love the cream brown and white mixture. Yeah, it's nice, right? Two pairs of the Ferris Bueller Dunks. I like them. Actually, I don't know why I said the Supreme portion of this video is over when I realized I have more Supreme packages. So let's open up another one. This time we're going Cozy Boys on them. This right here is a pair that I got from Japan. Luckily, I was able to find a really good listing for one. And you can even tell because it's got the Japanese box label on it. And it even has the original Supreme tag. If we open them up, we have a pair of the Cozy Boy slippers. Now. I am gonna say these do look a little, uh, so I'm gonna run them through the wash. We're gonna get them cleaned up really nice, but I have a really cool outfit picture in mind for the bandana stuff, being that they just released an entire Supreme bandana collection back that they did 05, I think it was, or even earlier, I can't remember. 
If you're gonna be wearing used sneakers, a rule of thumb for used sneakers, pro tip, is to use Lysol. Not a paid advertisement, but Lysol. If y'all see this, hit your boy up. Cause I've been doing this for, I can't even tell you how long. I think these are gonna be really nice pickup. And simultaneously, with the bandana stuff that you just saw, we have right here, the yellow Supreme box logo bandana hoodie. This just came out very recently last year, and I'm pretty happy with getting yellow. I didn't have this colorway just yet, and, and yellow isn't really a traditional Supreme color, so I think this one is gonna do well over time. Obviously right now, not doing too, too crazy in the price. You can still kind of pick them up for relatively cheap when it comes to a box logo. If you guys remember, I gave away a bandana box logo on my Instagram, and well, me and my boy Miller were doing the same thing again. So if you guys wanna stay tuned to my Instagram this week, you'll see I'm gonna post a picture in this. You guys will have a chance to win a Supreme Bandana Box logo in whatever size and whatever color you want. So stay tuned to my Instagram, give me a follow, at Giancarlo Perch. Don't miss out on this giveaway because we're literally giving it away for free. All right guys, next up, let's do something you haven't seen before because this was a first for me too. If you guys know me, I'm an avid uh, sample collector and even though I'm starting to really build that portfolio up within my collection, I stumbled across these and I gotta say guys, I'm really impressed with these. These are the Air Max Nike sample sneakers. Now I'm gonna say they came pre-distressed from the factory. That's what the seller told me. We have the sample inside. Let's see if we get a good shot of that. We have the sample inside and on top of that it says, I mean, the biggest rule breaker in all of sneaker history, not for resale, right there on the inside of the sneaker. Can you see that? The denim Air Max samples. Staying on the trend of cool Nike sneakers, another really dope one I found for a hundred bucks. Again, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm finding the steals, the deals, everything on the internet. We have a pair I haven't seen at all. If you take a look, this is the Nike ID Los Angeles collection. So very specific dust bag comes with it very cool palm trees as well on the inside we have nike id wrapping paper so the person that made these made them to their specifications i'm gonna have to throw some pictures up on the screen because i'm not working with any uv light right now but guys let me just tell you this sneaker turns into a beige colored map in the sunlight on top of that the keychain does it as well it also turns into a beige colored image. You know what really bums me out though? I thought these were my size. Personally, I can't wear these. Damn, that kind of shocked me right now. Maybe I'm gonna have to sell them now. On the topic of selling, I also found another great deal. And these guys, you're gonna be impressed with the price that I paid. Something that I was looking for was a pair of white OVO 10s. Instead, I found a black pair of OVO 10s but I only paid 95 bucks. I won the auction. And let me just say, for $95 on this clean of a pair of OVO 10s, we're talking good profit margin. We also have, of course, all the accolades of the Jordan 10, pretty much signifying Mike's golden years as what he's done with each year. You know, I wish I was a fan of this colorway in particular. I might, might rock them for a picture, might do something with them before I let them go. Now, a sneaker I know I'm not gonna let go. We gotta talk real quick. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. And my condolences, of course, to Kobe Bryant's family. I mean, guys, I'm sure you've already heard the news. And to kind of save the sadness of the video, we'll just talk about the shoes. Let's make it a little lighthearted. So right here, we have a very special pair. I love everything Nike does with their laser line. The lasers are one of the coolest things that Nike has ever done. We've seen them, of course, on the fives the fours, the ones, which I have, but these I did not have. And these right here are the Air Hirachi Kobe lasers. They even say Kobe's name on them. You already know I'm never gonna sell these. In fact, I'm gonna make sure I run these into the ground, get all the love and use out of them as I can, because that's what you guys do to sneakers. I mean, they're beautiful. These are brand new and man, I absolutely love them. With the Velcro tab that goes around, these released back in 2004, and the fact that they've been kept brand new for the last 16 years is really amazing to me. So 
we're gonna make sure we un-BS them for this video. I mean, these are just absolutely incredible. I love, love the details that were put into the sneaker. I mean, you guys can see it. The laser etching is so, so beautiful. All right, this guys, <laughs> it's funny. I was watching Pawn Stars. I absolutely love that show, by the way. Val and I were watching a episode and we came across this, <laughs> this really funny action figure. Chumley actually bought this action figure right here. I even think he paid like 125 bucks for it or something, but I got mine for $75. This is a Snoop Dogg action figure. This is crazy. Snoop Dogg made his own toy. You got the chain on there. He's got the yellow and black half tucks. He's got, look at him on the front there with the star studded glasses. Bandana print down the side if you guys obviously understand that. Let's get on the topic of cool sneakers. Now, okay, first off, can we stop? And I mean, can we stop putting sneakers in paper and then shipping them? This is horrible. This sneaker is worth so much money and you're telling me the seller is gonna ship them in just the single box that they came in themselves? Not cool. This is a very special pair of Nike Dunks. We have a blue box, Nike SB. First time I'm seeing them. Oh man. Woo. These right here guys, if you're unaware, these are the Cheech and Chong Nike SBs. One of the coolest sneakers, in my opinion, that Nike has done on the Dunk line. And I'm telling you for one reason only. Underneath of this fabric right here, this is a cream fabric, you actually rip it open and it reveals green. In 2019, we got sneakers that do the same thing, where you cut the fabric and you reveal a completely different print underneath. Now, I am a little hesitant to try this, but I, I think I want to. I think I want to. Oh my God, that hurts my entire soul. I'm literally cutting the sneaker. Oh my God. Okay, we just did a little bit. We just did a little bit. We're gonna reveal it. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot even believe I am cutting a sneaker that I just bought for, for the views. I'm doing it for the views, y'all. Nah, I'm just playing, I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it to show you guys. So look, you can already see the green start to appear underneath. Let's see. There it is. I'm glad that I bought them undone because I obviously want to make the design myself. There it is. Y'all see it? A little bit. There it is. Can you see that on camera, Val? We have the green right underneath and you're even supposed to burn it. I'm, I'm going to keep it at that. Susan, demonetization gang, no thank you. Uh, we're keeping it monetized real in the field here. But yeah, I'm going to have to clean up that red fabric. That's really, that's really bad. That bled really bad over time. So dope. I really love that. Such a unique sneaker. Just recording the B-roll for these, and I just noticed that they also have a stash pocket in them. And I think it's interesting because Travis Scott, you know, same kind of deal, but I think people were claiming Travis did it first. Cheech and Chong, up in smoke, they did it first. Let's talk about another sneaker that I got. A lot of sneakers this episode. Hope you guys enjoy that as much as I do. Right here, we have a special pair. This used to be a major deal back in the day. These are the Independence Day Air Maxes. And something special about these is that they had the Kanye effect. Back in 2015, these sneakers were seeing a $500 price increase just due to the fact that Kanye wore them. These are the American styled Air Maxes. I mean, this is so similar to a red of the Red Octobers which is why a ton of people also really fell in love with this sneaker is because it's just, I mean, it's dope. Yeezy, Yeezy wore this. And you already know I'm gonna give these some good love. Just cause I don't have a lot of Air Maxes, I'm still trying to build up that portfolio within my collection, how we got the denim Air Maxes, and now we're rocking with the all red Independence Day Air Maxes. Oh my gosh. Man, we're, we, we gotta talk real quick. I mean, first off, a massive, and I mean massive thank you to the homie over at Soul Steals on Instagram. If you guys wanna do me a huge favor, please 
go give the guys over at Soul Steals a follow because they absolutely blessed your boy and it would mean the world to me if you could go do that. We have right here the missing piece to my Yeezy collection. This is a major deal for me being that I've been on the hunt now for the Yeezy collection as far as I can remember when I obviously set off to start it. I had these shoes back in 2016, I wanna say. I have a picture actually on my selling Instagram account at Blazendary, and I think the picture is still there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Guys, we have the tan Yeezy ones in their beautiful condition. Look at these from 2009. I think the midsole's been repainted, but whoever did it did an amazing job. So congratulations to that midsole repainter. You definitely got a good award for that, I'm sure. But yeah, guys, I mean, if you don't know, glow in the dark bottoms. This is where it all started for Kanye and the Yeezys. I mean, these are crazy. These are history. These are literally history. This is one of the greatest pairs in the world, I would argue. Over time, these are just gonna become even more scarce to find and soul steals, they had them for me. Once again, major, major shout out to Soul Steals. Bless your boy with these. Let me just show you, ready? We have the Nets with actually, I'm blessed too, mine are the promo sample pair. The orange is a little bit brighter than on the standard pair. And oh my freaking God. <laughs> this is the first time I've had them all right here. Guys, I completed my Yeezy one collection. I'm literally so stoked right now. I'm so thankful for the opportunity of being able to own every single amazing, amazing pair that you guys see right here. Just absolutely beautiful. We're one pair away on the Yeezy 2s and I, I'm waiting to find a good deal because they get very expensive very, very quick. We have the Red Octobers, we have the Plats, but now, guys, I don't have to worry about the easy ones anymore because Soul Steel's really hooked it up. So, like I said, give them a follow. I remember I wanted to buy a fake pair of these so bad. Like, I, I almost bought a fake pair in seventh grade just because of how much I loved the easy one. And the sneaker con op, they, they had it. Legit, of course. Travis Scott won low. I've said before I'm not a major fan of the lows, but, I mean, these are different. They get the backward swoosh, red. This is just, it's different. And it, it really does look different because of this. And I honestly don't think, I think I would have passed if they were the other way, but they're just unique. Guys, with that being said, we have completed our haul. Thank you so much for watching and don't go just yet. I got one quick thing to say. I'm doing a live stream every Saturday after my video goes live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash blazendary. Don't miss it, come hang. Come talk to me, ask me some questions, chill in the chat. I love all of you guys and I love my job. So thank you so much for following, liking, subscribing to my content. Maybe you went ahead and turned those post notifications on. That would mean the world to me. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my Twitch right after this video goes live. Stay tuned for the giveaway on my Instagram too. Guys, with that being said, thank you for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, it's Blazendary, I'm out, stay positive, and peace out.